Hello beautiful souls, welcome to the Red Court Tarot. I am Nikita and we are doing the zodiac sign readings. Today we are starting with Scorpio. And uh, I request you to please watch your sun sign, moon sign, your rising as well as your Venus sign if you're particularly interested in what's coming your way in your love life and if you don't mind please hit subscribe please give me a thumbs up and do comment down below and if you don't mind sharing on your social media i would greatly appreciate that so the theme for this entire month for scorpios is mending as well as co-creating all right mending is number seven five plus two five is change two is about balance and together they make seven so there has been some in divine intervention you could be receiving messages synchronicities there could be serendipitous things that are taking place in your life and there could have been a relationship which fell away where there were disagreements where there was conflict and now there is a bridge that is being formed and the two people are being brought together you might be experiencing upper heart chakra expansion or clearing or even activation if you're new on the spiritual journey um keep a rose quartz around you wear it as a pendant or whatever just meditate with it with you know the light uh, hitting your upper heart chakra that will greatly assist you so loving communication uh, coming from a place of love uh, you know where there is a tear so you are being given the metaphysical thread to darn it you know and the next message is number four it is to co-create so whatever this um mending is about you are birthing this there has been uh you know you might have been ascending you might have received higher messages or realized that oh this uh breakup is not serving anyone and we need to make amends but in other aspects of your life as well now that you have acquired wisdom all your past experiences have been transmuted into wisdom you are also giving birth to something new um There's a che cheetah over here and I have a running joke about the cheetahs club, you know, the cheaters. <laughs> so there could be a situation like that. For some of you, obviously not for everyone. Take it only if it resonates. And, you know, otherwise it is about speed. But here he is sitting. So after a long journey of you know running and fast paced movement maybe this month you'll get a chance to rest a bit you know to enjoy to take a chill pill so we are going to now get into our celtic cross and see what exactly is going on uh if you haven't yet seen my august overview reading please do that it talks about the energies coming in how they will affect your uh, chakras what kind of symptoms might be coming up even weather you know what kind of weather or um natural disasters you can expect and a lot much more about relationships and all that but of course uh so please do take a look at this because in zodiac sign readings uh one particular situation or incident is highlighted and the overall view that is something i have covered in the monthly overview the august overview so let's get started this is for scorpios august 2021 energy is of course fluid some of these things could have started already for you um some of this might happen after august so take it as it resonates for you 
a situation where you might have felt breadcrumbed, where things were not unfair, where you had to depend on other people for receiving or you had to ask, hmm, healing is coming, wishes are being granted. That always makes me happy. Okay, so my Scorpios. Do remember, if this is not your situation, then it might be someone who is in your environment, who you are really thinking a lot about, uh, you know, or it might just not be resonating with you because the moon sign uh, reading, where, which is about your emotions, might resonate much more with you, okay? So, I will be clarifying each and every of these cards, but let's see what we can get from the first layer. You have been trying to heal, you know, that is in the core of your situation, the star card. It could be somehow connected to an Aquarius. Uh, what are the other signs I see here? It could be a fire sign. Um, these are general readings so you know pretty much most of the signs do come out it could be an aries they could be a gemini it could be a libra um any of the fire signs any of the water signs all right that's what i'm seeing so far with the star card you have been manifesting you have been wishing and wow look at that it just flipped over as i started shuffling that's also the star card so you have been manifesting you've been praying for something and if there's a situation where there was a, a you know a heartbreak or emotional pain or any kind of pain involved you have been praying and you know trying to heal yourself out of that situation at what is on you know your challenge or what is crossing you you at this time is justice you know you feel justice was perhaps not served some of you it might actually be a legal issue and if that's the case um the okay the reason i'm stumbling is because what i heard was it will definitely go in your favor but i don't like on a general platform to use the word definitely most likely it will go in your favor if it is actually a court case or something that is happening but you do feel that things have been out of balance for a very very long time um in the recent past you or someone was in a lot of stubborn energies nobody was willing to take the middle ground or adjust or compromise in that situation uh, in the foundation is the uh, the king of wands and it could be a leo because there's a line here and the relationship was definitely or this person uh, carried a torch for you and it was very passionate if it is about work also you know it was something that you might have started with a lot of passion taken a lot of rapid action and went go 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 and because of someone's uh, inability to adapt i'm hearing adapt uh, things might have gone south ways <laughs> okay and on what's on the top of your mind what you're constantly thinking about or worrying about is this ten of sword a situation which it wasn't just once you know but several times you have been wounded so you or the person because um it could be you who has hurt the other person i'm just putting it out there uh because well we are humans and this person had no option but to kind of walk away you know uh, in the future is the lovers so maybe a new love is coming or the old person is coming back for a resolution um someone might have a tattoo of a bow and arrow somewhere on their body someone might have dreadlocks if you are connecting with that um, okay in yourself is you're trying to come to a decision you know you're trying to also let 
go and allow your intuition to guide you of course being a scorpion you do have very deep intuition right with the emperor also there could be someone who could be very much in their ego and not willing to see how they have hurt the other person <laughs> fiery <laughs> um so there's also an awakening that you might be going through at this time so ascension symptoms might be a lot okay but in your environment is the 10 of cups so there is going to be emotional happiness a uh, long term uh, relationship and you know it is going to find its equilibrium okay your hopes and fears has four of swords you're wondering if this is a good time for you to slow down to take time to rest it is it is quite essential with the star card being in the center of your reading okay uh, this healing this rest is very important for you it will also give time for your thoughts and emotions to masticate so it needs time before you will be able to see a better uh i'm so sorry they uh, i was just hearing something so uh, be because you need to mend your heart you need to realize where your mistake could have been and you need to be um you need to understand things from another person's perspective as well as when it is coming to a job there are some layers you're missing uh because the minute every time i'm trying to say it uh, I'm blanking out on the words that I'm actually channeling. So there is like a spark or there is a knowingness in you that you're missing something in the picture, be it in, about the relationship, but specifically at a job scenario, a corporate kind of a job is what I'm seeing, you know, like those ceilings full of tube lights and a lot of those cubicle and tables and stuff like that so you might need to take time off this month so that you can just allow things and then it will strike you like that okay in your outcome is the knight of wands some passion especially the intimate kind where you're going to have fun you know it might be with the sagittarius uh, there is going to be a very intimate kind of thing that is going to be taking place that might reignite your passion you know and bring you to this 10 of cups someone around you definitely has deep love for you and towards the end i'm going to uh, give you your advice card so let's start with the star card spirit for scorpios august 2021 why is the star card here right so either the passion could have ended or the basis of something was just chemistry in a relationship in a job maybe your idea got shot down Ugh. oh my god those are way too many i'm going to take the this and this all right so where the passion that are okay the thing is you being a water sign even though you have immense amount of passion and sexual energy uh you're not only about that you know so maybe you wanted or you thought it is going to turn into something much deeper but you or your person i'm going to speak about it as if it's you but you take it as you know your story better and cross watchers the role might be reversed there was deep wounding and that has kept you feeling extremely vulnerable you felt someone literally backstabbed you uh, because ten of sword and you have not been able to stop thinking about the situation it has led to a lot of mental anguish and of course heartbreak but the good thing is with this healing coming in 
it is ending of this cycle this very painful cycle um between the 3rd and 21st of this month expect you to purge to get insights to get clarity to be able to move forward or leave it behind if you need to apologize you will if you know you uh, are supposed to get the apology it might take place so this seems to be a very significant time period for you please tell us more about justice for scorpio's august 2021 yeah this was a partnership that went sideways um if it is love you know you are currently single because there was a breakup in this situation um you have been feeling left out in the cold but now you are slowly starting to come out of that feeling the lack of missing this person you know it was a lot of love that you expected it to last please tell us more about the emperor we are going to piece all the things together okay that's the ace of sword in reverse uh, which is again about someone wanting victory and being in their ego being very stubborn you know not apologizing even when they know that they have hurt you and for you you might have been in the recent past confused you know you might your judgment might have been clouded and hence now you are getting that clarity back you know i'm i'm sorry <laughs> okay so you had thought this person was your wish fulfillment you had a lot of passion uh, you shared good times with this person um but then there was a halt a sudden halt and the progress stopped they could have ghosted you or kept you waiting you they could have been prioritizing other things as well okay uh, i am seeing an apology a message coming your way and not just a frivolous one they might ask you out for coffee or something to discuss about this matter you are kind of waiting for that you know you don't want to take the first step maybe or maybe they are waiting for you we'll see what it what happens over here so who is this king of wands why is he in the foundation for my scorpio's august 2021 reading right oh there were ego battles for sure in this situation okay as of now it could be a virgo you're dealing with okay as of now you as well as this person have withdrawn and not just from each other but from other people as well uh they might be deeply engrossed in their work or you might be submerging yourself in work and working on growing in your professional life at this time um but someone here has withdrawn to actually get a deeper understanding of what went wrong or why did this whole situation occur now these cards fell separately and these have so i'm going to see how they fit in or we are going to just take that as additional messages for you so um there has been a lot of mental conflict they feel stuck uh, or you felt stuck this person okay the masculine over here whoever the male gender uh they are feeling very stuck not knowing how to come and resolve this or how to you know reach out that i want to reconcile okay so they are going to send you a message a passionate message uh because in the past there was competitiveness maybe between you two or there was indecision there could have been you know um a lot of thinking going on and that created a lot of chaos and like a fog that you couldn't see your, your way forward 
all right so the situation the healing is definitely ongoing the star has come out again it has left both of you feeling extremely wounded exhausted just a little bit longer um you both need to find your inner courage and strength so that you can go ahead and mend the situation you know i wouldn't have kept harping on the mending but that has come out as the theme as well as so many of the cards are talking about that you need to reconcile it doesn't mean you if you don't want to be lovers with this person anymore that you need to do that but a reconciliation as in forgiveness getting back on talking terms uh with each other that is very important because i think this person is very important for you mm, this person might be a leo so please tell me more about the 10 of sword thank you spirit yeah so why this betrayal or this 10 of sword is so hard for you to forget and why it is constantly playing in your head is because it was so sudden and unexpected huh you're perhaps waiting for communication or you desire to communicate okay and you are realizing that you do wish to work on this and i think that's the same realization your person might also be coming to because here again is the um, king of wands with eight of wands and eight of pentacles so if a communication does come and they might be intimidated so they might not know what exactly to send to you as a message or text or email whatever it might be so just be a little patient hear them out um and then you decide oh good lord so with the lovers you are feeling that there is no chance for you to uh, work on the situation oh my <sighs> that uh, there is no um, collaboration between the two of you all right if uh, this is about choice between two people choose the new <laughs> if it is about a job venture that didn't work out i feel something new is going to be coming up okay with this lover situation the romance a uh, romance situation you are being asked to stop thinking negatively and overthinking what has happened and take the leap of faith go right ahead you know call them as i was saying that i'm seeing this image that she's calling instead of waiting around there is a lot of true love over here even from your end as well as theirs you know it's just the ego that is keeping the two of you separate i'm not saying that the fight or the argument was baseless or something i'm just saying if there is an opportunity given take it to try and get on the same page unless they have been violent or abusive in any way then run the opposite direction so what is this decision about the decision is about you know whether or not to send that message and whether this can ever get back to the stability the kind of foundation maybe long term one more please you're trying to decide instead of deciding about whether it will go the long distance or not uh follow your happiness follow uh the fact that your heart still has so much love and so does this person again this might be a leo but the again what i was saying follow your bliss follow your happiness if this person and you make each other happy then definitely there's no harm in texting them once to see uh if they are equally interested and 
uh, have they changed are they willing to apologize if they were the one in the wrong if you were in the wrong then you know be take the responsibility and make amends right relationships are hard to come by and especially deep true love ones you know so then of cups this could be someone you know since your childhood this could be a, a very good friend of yours uh, and you both kind of hang out with your children together or something like that it could be someone you had dreams of having a family with oh the fresh new beginning is coming yes and you are going to get the message you're going to get the clarity stay humble and then there's going to be movement forward amazing good job scorpio so four of swords why is that scorpio's fear and hope here comes judgment again so it's about the decision you know this whole thing in your head the overthinking and the you know the betrayal the pain that you're carrying it's going on and on and on and you're scared of sending a message or you are thinking that maybe they're not sincere but you're being asked to move to calmer waters or that's your wish that you want to go to calmer waters you're afraid of uh, taking a decision either way you know in the near future you will have to decide with the lovers and judgment out twice right that you have to pick a path you cannot stay in this place of just carrying the wound you know either you allow that to be in the past and bury it and keep it there forever and still go ahead with your life or you forgive you bury the hatchet and see if they are sincere if they have changed if they are willing to put in the effort and then you put that again in the past and then have a fresh new beginning with them because there is true love over here for sure and it runs very deep and there is a potential for it to go the long distance you know and there can be very quick movement with the chariot card as well as the eight of wands card over here so tell me more about the knight of wands perhaps you see this person as good for a fling or maybe you think that oh they are not consistent they are coming and going and i don't know what's going on with this person maybe they are too focused on having fun in their life but sometimes what we show or portray is not the complete picture of who we are maybe if you just have a conversation you will realize because twice the king of cups has come out and twice the king of wands has come out that they show you the young youthful energy of theirs but inside they might be um, much more mature than you actually give them credit and see as i'm saying that there is the king of pentacles so uh, though you are observing them as someone flippant and frivolous or inconsistent and a party girl party boy they actually are very grounded they are rooted they might be successful business person uh, they might be doing very well financially and inside they are definitely way more mature than you think they are so there's definitely the choice the two roads up ahead of you which way are you going to go that's in your outcome you have to make this decision by the end of this month and you are feeling nostalgic this person is your soulmate there's probably a past life or many past lives with this person which could also be making it extremely difficult but i'm not seeing uh, you know the seven of swords the devil all the toxic cards are not here it just feels like ego and a, a verbal argument got out of hand is what it is feeling like and it is up to you but you there is going to be a message of love either you are going to send it or they are going to send it your way so in your advice is get clear in your head 
and that's why you're being again and again told to take the time off to rest take a uh, rest from even thinking about this right and allow the divine to kind of co-create with you give you the message that you need at this time so that you can bring an end to this inner conflict not being able to choose or decide what's for real okay yeah a lot of your deep emotions uh, are going to surface you know and you need to allow that to happen because you know this stagnancy that's inside of you the holding on to the past is preventing the new cycle a beat with this person or a brand new person from coming in your advice is to allow the past to rest so that you can get your brand new love your brand new beginning okay now we are going to get a guidance from the angels those are way too many <laughs> one for scorpios for august 2021 please Please do comment down below how this is resonating with you. Um, it just turned into a love reading. Okay. Um, I'll try and see if I'm getting any additional messages. But I seriously am not. I'm just getting pretty much. Uh, if it is a job. Um, allow you know a brand new offer to come your way. Put your resume out perhaps you know allow the wheel to uh, to turn just because something didn't work out doesn't mean there are not any other option outside eight of thought see you're too much in your thought you need to get out you need to divert your attention to something you enjoy doing maybe you know if you can go spend some time in the sun on the beach or something now that the rules are slightly lax in most places you know or even if it is you know just binging reading your favorite book binging on netflix i meant just do something that will divert your mind from this and that's when the clarity will come in that's when the answer will come in that's when you that's when you will know how to make this work if that is what you wish you may feel as though you are restricted by circumstances where is the eight of sword mm. you may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in but that is just an illusion you will be given this sword to cut through this illusion Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that is making you unhappy. Allow the wheel to turn. Right? I love when spirit does that. Allow this wheel to turn, purge out so that you can move forward. Allow the brand new beginnings that are trying to come your way. There are three aces you have here there is sun which is like the happiest card in the deck ten of cups but you have to take the leap of faith love is here with a soulmate choose to get unstuck don't wait for someone to come to the rescue when you can free yourself and don't wait for someone else to make the first move when you can all right you have the passion you have the energy and you you need to let go of the pain allow the healing to come through right you're independent you're strong and you have a lot of love to give justice will be served in this situation this cycle has ended so now it's time for you to move on go towards healing choose peace choose love choose your heart follow your heart choose your happiness allow destiny to unfold for you yes take charge of the situation stop waiting around 
but don't be stubborn just don't be in your ego if someone is sincere with their apology maybe it's not a bad idea to not burn the bridge even if you don't want to build a home there doesn't mean you need to blow it to eternity <laughs> okay continue working uh, be it on yourself or you know be it at your pentacles your job continue that it is bringing you a lot of good fortune and you are going to be well provided for uh, monetarily there's good stuff coming your way allow the healing the rest to take place and then choose to move forward to karma waters and that is a fantastic reading from you my scorpios co-create with the divine make amends do the mending where it is healthy all right so with that beautiful reading i leave you with so much love light and blessings please give me a thumbs up please comment down below and hit the subscribe button